This conference will now be recorded. Um, actually, I have a few doubts. Mm -hmm. Can I ask? Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, actually, uh, basically, I am back in developer. I need code Java, microservices, and Spring Boots. Are you covered okay. this? Yeah, we'll cover it. Hello? Yeah, sure. So, actually, this, this topic. I'm not getting your voice. You're not getting my voice. Yes. Now, can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, we we will be covering those the topics. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so yeah, I, I I'm sharing the screen. So today is our, our first class. We will do first as a if if you don't have any questions, please uh, uh, mute yourself. If you have any questions, you can unmute and you can ask the question. Yeah. Good. When it comes to the uh, Java, like you know, yesterday in the demo class, I discussed what are things we are going to cover. We are not going back to the, the demo session. That's a, uh, like, you know, this is a first class. Uh, what the first thing is, we are going to identify the what are the things we need to install in, in our laptop. And what are the tools it's required? Yeah, that's a, the basic thing in order to work with the Java or in order to work with this entire uh, Java full stack. The basic things, what is the things it's required? The first thing is we need to install the SDK we are going to install here. Java SDK, we are JDK, we are going to install here. JDK, we would be installing here and we would take the latest version, which is a 20. The latest version JDK 20 we are going to install. The second one is we require a one more draw. There is a one ID. So we can take the any ID, either Eclipse or IntelliJ, or whatever it is available. Or if you are already a developer, you are familiar with the some ID, you can continue with that ID. The third one is we are going to install the uh, Git, Git bash, we are going to install. Okay, this is a Git bash. And the fourth one is we need a VS Code. Okay, VS Code is another software which is required for us. And uh, the fifth one is we require a DB, DB over it is required here. Okay. DB over uh, it is required, the another uh, software it is required. And uh, the sixth one is here we need a, a something called the manual. These are the tools which is required for us. Like, no, no, first, we need to do the dev environment setup. We are going to do that here. Dev setup when you are doing here. So these are the things it's required. Like no, JDK, one IDE, Git Bash, VS Code, DB Work, and Maven. So these things we have to install the first. Oh, like no, if if already your machine is having all these softwares, then well and good. If not, or we should we should we should install the, these things we should install. okay first we are going to download the jdk suppose if i'm taking the jdk download we are going to this official site okay this is a jdk here it is available the jdk 20 and jdk 17 available it is saying here and you can select the jdk 20 and your our operating system is a windows just you are going to select i'm using the windows operating system you can click on the 64-bit the MSI installer. This is what we are going to take it here. Uh, bin, bin.exe file you are going to download. So this is around 160 MB file which is going to download. Just to download the, this is a JDK. Okay, let me put it, this is, a, this is what we required here. We are going to take it here, JDK. So first I'm installing the JDK. When I'm installing JDK, this is the link we are going to use it here. This would download the, in, in case of the Windows, this URL is going to download, the JDK is going to download. But uh, there is no big installation in, uh, you know, 
windows it's like you just follow the installation we have you you just do the next 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 nothing you need not to change anything so everything let it take it as a default you can take it here if somebody uh, if if you share the screen if your things are not installed so that i can tell you that how to install is it everybody laptop is set up with the java and the other stuff if not like you know, if you are if you are doing the first time uh, if you want to install all the software so i will uh, if you share the screen i will i will guide you how you are going to install so that others also can see that how to install because already this all, those all these things has been installed in my laptop can someone Can someone volunteer that? If it is already installed, that's okay. Well and good. If not, like uh, I'll make you a presenter. You can share the screen. I'll 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 insert that uh, how to install the software. No problem. So here we are going to follow the installation. Like now, just you are going to click on this here. Uh, this is going to open the installation with the uh, window it is going to open okay just i'm going to say do you want to make these changes to device i'm going to say it as a yes it's going to prepare install and it is asking the uh, jdk development kit it is going to ask this here and it is going to install in this jdk 20 this is the directory it is going to install Click next. So yeah. Okay, the following you uh, are using the applications. We need to close that. It is saying that here because that's already I'm using the application that's the reason we did not install here now in your case you just do the next 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 you do that here this is going to install apart from that nothing else we can you need to do that that's the first thing we need to install and after installation you just ensure that you open the command prompt run command you open and the cmd and where you can check that what is the jdk version java iphone version you check that here if this version it says that 20.01 your JDK installed properly and here you can type the JDK you should get the okay here we are going to set as a Java C if I'm typing here you should get a several options Java C uh, when you are typing the Java you should get a several options if you get these here options that means the installation is successful there is no issues there is no issues First, ensure that what is the JDK version you are using here. I'm going to open the Java minus version. What is the version I'm using here? This is what it is saying here. Yeah, my Java version, I'm using it as the uh, Java 20, I'm using here. Okay. Uh, this is the first thing you, you would be installing to that. Okay. If you are using the Linux machine, you are going to check this here, Java iPhone version. So this will say that here, uh, hey, Java is not found. It is not installed, it is saying that here. So suppose if you want to install the uh, uh, JRE, if you want to install that here, like you would be doing in the Linux, this is the uh, latest version is, so uh, it is going to take it as a JDK 19, it is available. JDK 19, it is available, or JDK 17. Okay, we'll go into the JDK 17. Just I'm going to use this command. And we are going to install here. Okay, the password. I guess this is a password. Now here, we'll, we will be saying it as a yes. This is going to install the Uh, JDK it is going to install here. Here I'm installing the JDK 17. I'm installing here. 
Okay, in case of the line X, just you are going to do this here. Once you are done with that, so you can check that here. What is the Java version? Earlier it was giving the Java version was uh, uh, not giving that here. We can see here Open JDK. It's a 17. It is installed here. Okay, this is what you would be doing in the if you are using the Linux version. Uh, Linux mission you would be you would be doing that here. Okay, just give up. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, on the Windows we have installed the Linux and uh, uh, this is a uh, this is a place where uh, Hey, sorry guys, my internet got disconnected. Can someone confirm? Is it my screen is visible? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know where we lost. Okay. In case of the Linux, when you are installing here, this is what you would be doing. Now. So on on the Windows, Windows machine, we can we can install the like uh, Ubuntu. We can install. Uh, just we, we, I open the terminal and I, I will install the, this open to we install and we have done that here. Don't worry, we, this is uh, how to install open to on the windows and all these things here. If you're using the windows, just you are going to use the, uh, like the executable file you are downloading and you would be installing that here. So for that, this is simple. Download the JDK, just you follow the installation wizard and you once you are done with this installation, then you are going to download the IDE. So here we are going to use the IDE for the IntelliJ IDE. We are going to use it. So just you can say that here, IntelliJ IDE. So here we have a, you can click on the download. When you click on this download, it is going to take the, it's going to take the, uh, like now here we have a unlimited edition. We have a community edition. You take the community edition. Here we are going to take the community edition. We are going to use it here. Yes, we are going to uh, download. You click on this download, and where uh, it's going to download the community edition, it's going to download here. Right now. You can see here. This. Okay, just let me put the link. <clears throat> Windows and you download the copy link address. We would be adding the this is a IntelliJ ID. We are going to add it here. Okay, just you are going to download the ID. It's an IntelliJ ID web branch. You are going to download. And you take that it is a community edition you are taking here and once you download that community edition so this is also uh, comes around uh, comes around uh, 200 mb or 200 mb it comes let it download okay this has done the no no 600 mb is coming so it's coming the 600 mb okay 600 MB it is, it is going to come to you and you can uh, once you download that here uh, there is no big installation as such just follow the installation wizard or uh, just you use the D 
default, what are the settings it is going to give here, you just use that. And this is a, once you are done with this IDE setup, if you open that, okay, if you are going and open that here, IntelliJ, so where you will see that community edition, you will see that here. So when you click on this here, this is going to open with the, uh, this one. The new window, it is going to open here. Community edition, this is the latest version, which is going to load that here. You may not get the projects here, so just it will open the, uh, the IntelliJ ID, it is going to open. Once you are done with that, the next thing is Git Bash. Okay, you are going to download the Git Bash. Git Bash download. So you can you can download the Git Git SCM or Git Bash. Like here, you can choose the what is the operating system you are using. You can download for Windows. Yes, you are going to download the 64 bit. We are going to download. You will be downloading the 64 bit. Git SEM we are going to download, that's a 64 bit we are going to download here. Let me copy this link. Copy this link. Copy as link address. And here we are going to, and we are going to set as a Git. Git, git install we are going to do this here. For the Git installation, this is what. We are going to use it here. Here also, you just follow the installation uh, steps. Like no, there is nothing uh, we need to do that uh, configuration for anything. You just follow that here. Then same thing. We are going to download the VS Code. VS Code. We are going to download here. This is the Visual Studio Code. VS Code IDE. We are going to download here. So this is what we are going to set as a Visual Studio Code. Again. Download the, this is a Visual Studio code we are going to download. Uh, this is a this is going to download the Visual Studio code. It's going to download. This is the kind of a IDE uh, when you are working with the UI. Uh, we would be using the Visual Studio code. We are going to use it here. Then this is the direct uh, link. Just I'm going to copy address. Of the address I'm going to say it as a this is what yeah this is a VS code we are we have installed here then we have a another tool tool called the DBO okay. DBO we are going to take the DBO we are downloading here the community edition we are going to download the DBO this is a DB client in order to connect with the databases Okay, uh, Windows installer, we are going to take it here, copy as a link, and here we are going to take it here, Windows installer, it would be downloading the DB or it's going to download. Okay, here we are going to use the DB or this is another tool which is going to download here. Yeah, that's the reason I asked to like you know, somebody save uh, share your screen so that I can show all the installations. Or we, we we would have done the all the setup in your laptop. Yeah. So because all these things has been done, the setup has been done in my laptop. And there is no big big deal at all, guys. Just we need to know what are the softwares we need to install. These days, like you know, most of the things they are taking care of in the operating system itself, adding the path and all these things here. So just follow the installation wizard and we, we just we try to install these things. We have code. If it is already installed, it's well and good. There is no problem. Now we are done with the DB work. And DB work also, you just follow the, uh, click on this installation wizard and follow the installation steps. Apart from that, nothing else we need to do that. And then last one is we are going to install the Maven. Okay. We are going to use the Maven. We are going to use it here. The Maven installation also very simple. Just you are going to have Maven uh, download. Okay. Just you check with the Maven download. So this is going to take you to the this uh, this application. It's going to take it here. Okay. And here we are going to se select it here. Uh, zip file we are going to select it here. Uh, binary zip file file we are going to take it here. This is a zip file it's required here. Just let me copy the address. The, the moment I click on this, it is going to download the one zip file, it's going to download. 
Okay, this is the place where we are going to set us up Maven. We just click on that gift. And this is a gift file it is going to download because Maven, we don't have the, any installation process as such. Only it will download the one now. Uh, gift file it will download and this gift file we are going to extract and we will add in the class path we are going to add it here how to add that I'll, I'll just show you that here suppose once you install the maven once you are done with the installation of the maven here once you extract that file you will get the maven apache maven this is a this is a directory i extracted the my maven i extracted here once you extract that what you can do here is in order to set the path, okay, the path, in order to set the path, so we are going to edit the edit, edit environment variables. You are going to edit that here. Edit environment variables. Edit environment variables. This is the place where we can now uh, add the Maven home. This is the place where we are going to add the Maven home. So two variables we are going to create it here. Okay. First thing is here we are going to create a. Let me create it here. Edit system environment variables. I'm going to edit the system environment variables. Edit environment variables. Here I'm going to add the Maven home. Okay. Where where my Maven is uh, uh, installed? Just we are going to specify the Maven underscore home. This is a place where we are going to say that here. Maven underscore home the path we are going to define here. Okay, let me delete this here. How to add that to you? I'm going to explain this one thing. Okay. Here, even Java home also, I'm going to delete that here. This is, this, all these things are fine. Now, how to add that? Just I'm going to show the environment variables. So suppose here my Maven is uh, added to, my Maven is added, or my JDK is installed here. Okay. Program files, if you look at here, my Java is installed in this JDK 20, it is installed here. So I want to use this. I want to tell my system, hey, this is the location my Java is available. To tell that here in the environment variables, you are going to say as a Java underscore home. What is the home you are going to give it here? This is a path we are going to copy this here. And here you would be using the Java underscore home. This is my Java home directory. We are going to specify that here. And this similarly, we are going to define a one more row variable, maven underscore home. Okay, where is your maven is installed? We are going to specify that maven underscore home. Okay, in, in, in my case, it's in the software. This is the location where my maven is installed. Just we are going to paste that part and click OK. But those are the basic steps we need to we need to do that here. Okay, those are the basic steps we need to give it here. And another one is in a path variable, we are going to add the uh, two more variables we are going to add it here in the path variable. Percentage, percentage Java home, bin directory, percentage, percentage Maven, these two things we are going to add it here. Okay, these are the two things we would be adding here, percentage home slash bin directory. So this is already we defined the Java home we defined, just we are going to add this slash bin we are going to add it here. This is the way you would be accessing the variable and we are we are adding the bin. This is a Maven home, then you are going to add the bin we are going to add it here. Okay, let me explain, let me type it here so that you will get it here. Okay. How to set the environment variables? This is what we are going to, I'm going to explain here. Now I have installed in my Java. NV variables how are you going to set the environment variables you just open the windows machine uh, edit system environment variables okay you click on that edit system environment variables okay, let me take it here you type it here edit system environment variables okay let me take this clip tool i'm going to take this clip tool i'm taking here Edit the uh, system environment variables. I cannot do that with it. Yeah, go to edit system environment variables. This is what I'm going to take here. Okay, this option you are going to click on this here. Edit system environment variables. Once you are done with that here, edit system environment variables. You just search for that in your windows. 
this is going to open the uh, edit uh, system environment variables. Okay, this is going to open the, this is a, um, this is a window it is going to open here. Once you open this window, we are going to click on the, we are, once you click on this here, this is going to open here. Okay, edit environment variables, it will be opening here. Once you are done with that, uh, the next step is we are going to click on this here, environment variables. So this is going to open the, uh, yeah, this, this is going to open the, this is what it's going to open. Okay, once it is open here, the next step is we are going to, uh, we are going to create a, um, we are going to create a, yeah, here we are going to edit the two variables you are going to add it here. First, you are going to add the, let me delete this here, let me also delete this here. Here we are going to add a new, new, we are going to click on this, you click on the new, and uh, then we are we will be saying it as a Java underscore home. Where your JDK is installed, you are going to the, the directory. In my case, so if I'm taking the C program files, because I have used the default directory, your JDK 20, you copy this. Yes, you are going to copy this here. You are going to copy and you will be setting here. Click OK. This we have done that. The first one is, you know, you are creating the new environment variable that is a Java underscore home. You would be setting that value as a where your Java is installed. The next one is similarly we are doing here Maven underscore home, where your Maven extracted folder folder you have kept. Okay, don't keep it in download. You better keep it in a software or some folder you keep here. This is a directory. We are going to use that path. These are two variables you are going to define here. The two variables you are going to define and you will be setting that here. Okay. Java home and Maven home. Once you are done with that here, then you are going to set it as a create a create a following the system variables. Okay. Once you are done that here, system variables you created these two, two system variables you created here. The next step is we are going to do here is we created the two system variables we created. Okay, the next step is we are going to do this here. Um, we are going to do it here is uh, system and when system variables we created and then you go to the path variable. Okay. So then we are going to do the edit, edit path variable, okay, uh, edit path variables. When you're editing the path variables, please don't delete anything, okay, let it be this system, whatever it is there. You may not get the, this Java and you may not get the Maven home, okay. What we could do here is so we can copy the entire path, pin directory, you can copy. And we can we can paste it here bin directory you can paste it here you can paste the new and we can paste it here the problem is with this approach is tomorrow if you change the maven version to the different version again you have to go you have to come and we have to change the the path we have to change it here instead of that what we would be doing here is percentage maven okay percentage maven underscore Oh, percentage, we are going to use this slash. This is, a, this is what we are going to do right here. The percentage means this is a, you get the, this Maven home and bin directory, we are going to say that right here. The similarly, we are going to do this here. New percentage Java underscore home. The percentage we are going to slash, slash bin, we are going to say that right here. Like, let's look at here. Java home, you, you have got the bin directory. These, these are the executable files it contains. We are going to add that, that as a path we are going to add it here. Then click here, okay, click here, okay. Okay, in the path variable, I'm saying that here, you add these two variables, you add it here. You add the two variables, one is a percentage 
Java underscore Java underscore home person page slash bin person page maven maven underscore home person page and here we are going to add this slash bin we are going to add that's it this will ensure that all installations what are the installations we have done and we have if there is a like you know, if you are not finding the java home like when you are typing that so this will take care of the the basic installation these are the system environment variables this is the way you would be setting in your laptop once we are done with that here we are done with the dev setup we are done with the dev, dev setup and first we installing the jdk then we are going to install the intellij id then we are installing the git then we are going to install the vs code dbviewer maven and uh, like now we are ensuring that my dev environment is proper we are checking that so these things if you are done with that here more or less we are done with the dev installation does anyone has any questions any questions or any doubts guys any questions so. Okay. okay cool now here when you, when you open here your uh, uh, like now whether java is working or not like we install that there is no problem whether things are working or not we want to check that here we want to check that here in order to check that here you can open your command prompt okay you can open the your command prompt you are going to open here cmd command prompt you are going to open where you would say that here so, this is a place where we are going to see this here java c there is no problem java there is no problem here we can open the j shell open the j shell j shell is an interactive java shell where you can type this something here uh, like no 2 plus 3 equal to how much this is a file first you are going to do the here system dot out dot print ln so i am going to say it as a welcome to java world is what we are going to check this year it is printing the welcome to java world so there is no problem like here we are going to do this here one plus two plus so uh, i'm going to do the three which is going to print the six that means my java interactive shell is working my installation is proper there is no issues we can conclude that yeah and this j shell is it will open only in the after jdk 9 if you are using the JDK 7 in your office or JDK 6, if you are using, you may not get the J shell op option. Only it is available from the JDK, I think JDK 11, I guess, 11 or 9, I'm, I'm not sure 100% where, where it is, which version is used. But anyhow, we are using the latest version, and this feature is available uh, in the latest versions. We can use the J shell. J shell is like uh, Python, how you suppose you are working in a project, you got some doubt like you no know, you want to see that like you now how do you generate the one uid uid dot okay i'm going to say that several options which is going to do that here random uid you want to generate here okay just you would be using this here this is going to generate a random uid it's generated here so now here instead of running the separate application you can come to the j shell where you can execute the uh, this is a command uid random uid you are you are going to generate and what are the random UID is generated? We can take it here. Okay. So what I'm saying here is to check that here whether your Java application is working or not, whether Java is installed properly or not. You can open the J shell. You execute the basic command. Okay, you got the five into three. How much? It is okay. This is working fine. Now suppose if you have a little programming language background and you you know already familiar with the Java, where you can try something here. Okay, here we are going to say it as a, suppose if I'm taking the variable, int number one equal to, I'm going to take it as a 10. Okay, and here, how do I print this here? For, I'm going to write it here, int i equal to one, two, i less than or equal to 10, and i plus plus. Okay, uh, then if you are opening the bracket, and here we are going to print it. SYS out. Okay, system dot, out dot, print ln, print ln. Uh, where we are going to print the 
number into i value i'm going to print it here you close this here and close the bracket okay mm, there is something error it is saying that here find the symbol variable num okay i declared the number one but i'm using it as a here now that was a problem you can see here 10 20 30 just this is a value it is here so this will ensure that so command prompt to my jdk is working okay just i'm going to exit this exit i'm going to say that here okay exit or we can say this as exit Quit typing. Okay. I think this is a quit or exit. Okay, it is not going that. That's okay. We can close this here. So now we are going to open the your IDE. We are going to open here. So from the IDE, I want to test that here. I want to create a new project. I want to or do the basic testing i want to do that here so how are you going to create a once your IntelliJ id is open or we can we can test another another way in the command prompt itself cmd if i'm doing here command prompt i'm going to open here so where i want to execute the my java program using the command prompt in this directory i'm going to create a copy con or we can open the notepad okay, just click on the notepad this is going to open the notepad and we are writing the first Java program we are writing here. This is a place where we are writing the public class. Hello world, I am going to write it here. This is a class, I am going to write it here. My my public class. We are writing a first Java program we are writing. By using the notepad, we are going to create a first Java program we are creating here. Public class, hello world. And here we are going to write a main method. Our main method starts with the, this is the same time. Okay. Public static void main string dot 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 arcs we are going to say that here and this is a place where we are going to if this is a method inside the method we are going to print the system dot out dot internet welcome to java world so this is a file i created here java file i created here and i'm going to save this program control s i'm saving in this directory Okay, where I'm saving in this step, which directory we are going to save it here is if I'm going to the okay, let me save it in now uh, uh, some directory in the desktop. I'm going to create it here. This is the desktop. I'll be creating this a new folder. I want to create new folder. I'm creating here. This is a CJ underscore examples for your examples. I'm going to say that. For Java example, I'm going to save it here. You open this folder. Inside that folder, I'm going to save that as a file name as a hello world.java. You give it in a uh, double quotes, which is a file extension, so that it will take the extension as a whatever you have given here. This is going to take the extension. If you give it in a single quote, if you if you don't give it anything, if you save that in Windows, it is going to save that extension as a txt. We don't want to txt, we want to get that as a Java as an extension. Now here we are going to save this file. Once I save this file, now here we are going to look at, you, you should go into the, the directory. Okay, in the desktop we created a one directory called the CJ underscore example. If you want to open the command prompt in this directory, it's a simple guys. Just you, you click on this here, you where you type the CMD, the command prompt is going to open in this current directory. Okay. In order to open the command prompt in the current directory, Suppose if I'm here, if I'm here, okay, if I'm here, I want to open the command prompt in this directory. Okay, two options you have here. Opening terminal, you can do that here. This is going to open the, uh, in the current directory, it's going to open. The other option is you, here, if you want to open the command prompt, you just type the CMD there, which is going to take, which is going to open in this directory. You can see this here, DAR. What are the files it contains? It contains the one file that is a hello world. That hello world is Java. That is, whenever you are creating the, your Java program, you have to follow these certain conventions. What is the convention is? Uh, we have to create a, a public class. And the, the same class name, we are going to save that file. If the .java is the extension. Okay. 
we will be discussing more details about that first we are ensuring that what are the installation you have done that here all the things uh, is working fine dev environment is so uh, it is uh, it is a properly set up or not we are testing that that's it don't worry what is this public class hello world why should we write it all these things here so you can you are writing this program and we are going to execute from the command prompt. first i'm doing the java c hello world java i'm compiling this java program the moment I compile, it generated the one new class, it is generated. That's hello world dot class file is generated. That means my Java compiler is working. I'm going to run the Java dot hello, hello world. There is nothing, yes, you are going to do that here. Welcome to Java. So this is ensuring that, like, you know, our command prompt JDK is working. There is no issues. There is no issues. So here, in order to first, you are going to write a hello world example. You are going to write it here, or you are going to write the hello world example. So you would be writing the public as you are going to say as a hello world, and then here we are writing the main method public static void main void main okay void main. Yes, you are doing the string dot 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 args. Okay, then here we are going to take here, we are going to close this here. This is a bracket which you open, here I closed. This is a bracket which I open, I closed here. And what is the message you want to print it here? You are going to write it in system.out.ln. Okay, here we are going to set up a welcome to welcome to Java World. Welcome to Java World, you close this. So welcome to Java World, we are going to close this. So once you did this here. If you open the notepad or whatever the your id then you are going to save this file is a okay hello world what is the class name hello world dot java we are going to give the class name in order to compile your program you open the command prompt where where this file is created you would use the java c hello world dot java and to execute this we are going to use the java hello world we are going to use it here. no class no no extension when you are compiling this here this is going to compile your program and once compilation is successful it is going to generate a dark class file it's going to generate here okay it is going to generate a hello world dark class it is going to be generated here once it's generated then we are going to run that dark class file by using the command called the java command we are going to use it and you would be ready so in order to do this here, we are going to open the notepad and again we are going back to the command prompt to compile this program. Then to execute this program again, you have to go to the command prompt and you would be executing that here. So if you want to get everything is uh, in one location, as an integrated environment, you want to get it here. To get that integrated environment, you would be using the IDE. If I am using the, this IDE, the moment you open this here, uh, until the ID, you don't get all these options you because you are opening the first time. So let me close uh, all the things. Okay, just you are going to close the project. I'm going to close it here. Now, this is what something it is going to appear for you. Here we are going to create a one new project I'm creating here. I'm going to click on the, this new project. Click on new project. And here we have a several options you are having here. Here we are having the several options you are having here. In the, the project name is, I'm going to say it as a JSF. I'm going to take it as a, this is a, a September, I'm going to take the batch. And here we are going to say it as a 20, 23, I'm going to take this batch. And here we are going to save this in the location. <clears throat> okay, here we are going to save it in the JIT location, we are going to put this here this is the location i'm going to select it here okay this is the name of the project and in the any directory you can select it here i'm selecting here and i'm going to select as a maven project and here we are going to add the create a JIT repository we are going to add it here and here we are selecting the maven project i'm going to select it here in advanced settings we can give the your package name what is the package name group id you can give it here this is a place where we are going to set as well com dot career it i'm going to give it here and the artifact id is uh, let it be <clears throat> this is the same name i'm going to use it here okay here we are going to say it as a new project this is a 
Java full stack September, September 2023, I'm going to do it here. This is a directory. I'm going to use this project to, throughout the sessions. That's the reason I'm just creating here. We are going to create a create the project. Once this is created the project, you need not to do anything here. Just we are ensuring that whether things are working or not. Okay. Now here automatically it is created the hello world example is created here. I'm going to run this hello world example. I'm going to run that. Run Java application. If this is going to run and the hello world it's going to be like now your ID is also working. Fine. There is no issues. There is no issues. Things are working fine. Okay. This is what as a like now first class you can do the your setup uh, and uh, then you are going to check that here. What are the installation you have done that here? If the things is working or not, you can check. Any questions, guys, here so far? And how to create this project is once again I'm repeating here. Those who are uh, uh, first time if you are learning, let me go to the git directory. Let me go to the git directory, and here we are. We, I said that as a September batch, I'm going to delete this. Okay, this will not have this project here. Now I'm going to create a new project. We are going to create here. new project, and here you can give the project name. Suppose if I'm giving the uh, let's give it as a hello world. Hello world. I'm going to say it as an example. Hello world uh, app. I'm saying that as a, this a project name is. I'm going to give it as a hello world app. You select the Maven here, and it is all automatically it is selected the JDK version 20. It's selected here. In advanced settings, you can view the group ID, and this is the artifact ID we are going to give it here. This is a group ID, this is the artifact ID, and then click on generate. Okay, this window only I'm going to say that here. This is going to create a hello world example, and it created a combat carrier ID. This is the main class it's created here. This is a place where we have a uh, hello world we are having here. So just you are going to take it as a, this, this is a place where uh, we are having here the main method. Now here we are going to right click here. You can run that here or you can click on this here. Run, run the main method. Which is going to print the hello world it's printing. So that simple providing this, the hello world example or like no. So creating the project, you know, your IntelliJ ID. So why we are using the Maven and all these things we will discuss the detail we will discuss in upcoming sessions. So just ensure that what are the things it is installed, it is working. It is working. Yeah. Uh, any any questions before we are going? Any anyone does anyone have any questions? So these are the things. Like now, I, once again, I'm repeating the what are the things we have done that here. We downloaded the all the required software we downloaded and we did the basic setup. And we, uh, in order to add the environment variables, how to add the environment variables, we I explained that here. And here we have a two types of environment variables. One is the user variables, another one is the system variables. If you are adding the, suppose if your user maybe you are in your laptop, you might have created the multiple users. So if you add in this user variable, those variables are available for only particular user. If you are adding, you know, system environment variables, these variables will be available for the all the users who are the how many users you are having in your system for everybody it is available. And we creating the two variables you are creating here, new variables you are creating here, Java home and Maven home. And then we are going to edit the path variables. Already the path variable will predefined variable it is available. And we are going to add the new two variables we are adding here. And uh, in order to test that uh, whether Java is installed properly or not, so we can we open the command prompt. Uh, command prompt you open. To open the command prompt, we can click on the Windows plus R is a shortcut, or we can go on to here we can search for the run, we can search for that here. Okay, you open the run command, and there we are going to type the CMD command prompt. We are going to type it here. This is a place where we are going to do this here. This is a place where we are going to say it as a J shell. You you are making you are you are uh, opening the interactive shell. 
slash help if you do this here this is going to tell you that uh, some help it is going to give it here okay so here we are going to type the 2 plus 3 equal to how much is it for 5 but like no so just we open the j shell okay. we can open the command prompt and do we are going to open the j shell we will be opening that here just after opening the j shell you just do the 2 plus 3 equal to how much you do the simple simple uh, operations you do that here if this works then that means your jdk is set up properly and then here we open the one notepad okay some directory we open in a notepad you open that and we type this program and finally we are going to save this program as a hello world.java and we are executing that by using the java c we are doing the compilation and it generates the dark class file and java once you have done that here then we created a maven project we created here how to create a Maven project? This is what uh, you know, we have done that here. So once you have done that here, this has created the main method. So just I don't know, we don't know anything about the what is this class and all these things here. It's generated by default whether it's working or not. We just check that. Which is going to printing the hello world message. It is going to print. Yes, can you make it really interactive? Like any any questions here so far? Were you able to follow whatever I'm explaining? Asha, Shavanti, Shudir, Lakshmi. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. That makes sense. Is this okay, fine. Is this session recorded? Yeah, it's it's recorded. Uh, can you please uh, share me which topics are you covered? Yeah, we will uh, they will be sharing the content TOC with you. Yeah, or it might have already shared. With you. Just check your email. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, once you are done with the installation, then we will get started with the uh, the programming fundamentals we are going to get started with that here. Yeah. Okay. Whenever you are learning the any basic programming, so first thing is so uh, what are the things like now? How do I prepare? Like I'm going to learn the first time I'm learning the Java or any programming language in that matter. First of all, we need to understand uh, like now to learn the programming language. Uh, it it is easy. It like now just you are going to learn the syntax. But the main important is important thing is uh, the problem solving skills is very important like now you you are going to take a uh, let's say take a simple example uh, i want to do the a simple question i'm asking here hey can you find uh, let's let's take a simple example i'm giving you a very very basic example i'm giving you you are uh, going to arrange a uh, what you can call a picnic you are going to arrange a picnic and where you created a you know like you you take your whatsapp group you have a like no the whatsapp group you have a some 20 friends or, or maybe 200 friends you are having here where you created a poll you created a poll saying that here bro, like no so how many are interested for a one day picnic okay so then here uh, you are going to say that as a well. somebody said yes somebody said no and total there is a uh, like no, there is a total out of 200 people Okay, so interested. Here we are going to say it as a. Okay, we'll give the simple answer yes, and here we are going to say it as a no. Okay, few people said yes, few people said no. Good. This is what like no, few people are saying that yes, they are interested to come for a picnic, one day picnic. Some people they said no, they are not interested. Like now, based on the number, how many numbers uh, are saying the yes, how many numbers are saying no, based on these numbers, we want to arrange a cap. We want to book a cap. Like now. This is what. And like, uh, let's take a simple example. Here they said around uh, 39 people said yes, and remaining people. Uh, uh, like no, around 21 people they said no something you are going to take so 
39 people has been confirmed. They are going to come that year. Now, what is the requirement is here? It's a simple requirement. Here, we need to book a cap. Like as a, you are an organizer, 39 people, you're not, you need to book a cap. Okay. The cap capacity is, a, we know that four people. Maximum is, a, okay, we are going to take only three. Okay. Because we are going for the trip. We don't want to congest right away. So cap capacity is a three. Now, 39 people has been said yes. How many caps are you going to book? Or how many caps are required? Just we need to get that here. This is a capacity, cap capacity. Cap max capacity. That's it. Now, we have a number of people is 39. And the cap capacity is a three. Maximum it can open cap can accommodate only three. Okay, here we are going to take it as a 39, 37 uh, we are going to take it here. Okay, let's put it as a 37. Now, uh, my question is here, very simple. How many caps are you going to book? Can someone please? How many caps are you going to book? There is nothing uh, like, no, uh, like no brainstorming or anything. So maximum, it is like this. We are going to take the three. We are dividing with the 37. Okay. Three ones are three. Okay. Then we are going to get the seven down. Three twos are six. There is a one person is left. Twelve caps we are going to book that here. But there is a one person is left. For him you have to book a separate cap. Like no? Total caps are required is a 13 cap. This is what you you would be doing the like you know, by using the the basic uh, uh, like you know, school mathematics whatever we learn we are going to apply and we are going to do this here hey this is what I need this is what I need it here now how do I do this same thing in the program how do I do that in the same thing in the program so 37 you can do that here suppose my number is my number is it's a very very big number let's take it as a my Number is three five seven two. This is the number, and the, the you are going to book a bus, which is a capacity of the twenty seven. Doing this also, it it, it would be easy, like you no, know, by using the this mathematics, you can apply and we can do that here. But if, if you are asking the, if you take the calculator, you could do very quickly. You can do that here. Okay, same thing. You want to do the programmatically. How are you going to do that here? If I divide this number with this number, if there is any remainder. I am going to add to the quotient one more row value. You are going to, to the, add to the quotient, and finally, we are going to say that as that is the return. For that, you should know how to use the modulus operator, how to use the division operator. If you know these two things, you are done with this problem. What is that? The modulus operator always returns the reminder. It's going to return the reminder. Suppose if I am taking the seven modulus of 7 modulus of 2, if I am taking here, or we are going to take it as a 8 modulus of, we are going to take it as a 3. And 8 divided by 3. 8 divided by 3. So, what is the answer for this here? The modulus operator returns the always reminder. Okay, modulus operator, we are going to take it as 11. Uh, then here we are going to take it as 11, we are going to take here 11. So always it returns the reminder. Three threes are nine. The reminder is a two. Eleven three threes are nine. So this is a question. The difference between now here we let me take it here. This is what I'm going to take the three. Here we are taking the eleven, and the three threes are nine. The remainder is a two. The question is a three. This is the this. Is, when you are using the division operator, we are going to get the, okay, here we are going to get it as a 3, okay. Here we would be getting the 3, we are going to get it as a dividing that here. This is the answer, you will get it here. Modulus operator, we are going to get it here. Now, in our logic, we are going to do this here. It's a simple thing. If there is a remainder is not equal to 0, what are the quotient value you are going to get? One cap, one, one more cap, you are going to add it as an extra. Because there are people left. So the number of caps are required is uh, 3, 
because one more person is left or two more persons are left, then we are going to add a one extra cap. We are going to add it here. This is a thinking you should you should have it. Like you now, once you get this thinking and developing this or converting into the code, it is very simple. As a Java developer, as a, any developer, you should have the problem solving skills. Okay, we need to understand the problem and how I am going to approach this problem and what is my solution. Just mathematically, you are going to think that here and you would be converting into the code you are going to convert here. So before learning the coding, ensure that you have a good mathematical skills and the problem solving skills. And these problem solving skills also can be developed to by taking the uh, some of the, these aptitude questions, okay, uh, solving the aptitude questions and uh, like you know applying the thoughts. This uh, some some questions can be solved with the common sense as well. So this is the way you are going to first solve the problem. Then how how do I write this program, which is a more generic? Okay, like you know, uh, he is going to give that here number of people he is going to give the cap capacity, and uh, then I am going to tell that how many caps are required. That's as a as a programmer, you would be developing that code. This this is the things we are going to take it here. Yeah. And how do you write this program? So that we will we'll we'll discuss about that here. Like in order to solve this problem, the the problem, you are going to choose the one of the programming language, you are going to choose it here. And here we are going to choose the our programming language as the Java. Okay, we are going to take it as the Java, we are going to get it here. And when you are using the Java. What are the class we are going to write it in Java, or whatever the program we are going to start with the Java, it should be always you are going to write the public class and your class name. Okay, let's take it as a this is a class name is a, a, a multiplication of the table. Multiplication of the table you are going to take here. This multiplication of the table, this is the class name I have given here. Multiplication of the table. And what are the code you are going to write it here? It would start with the main method. It would start with the main method. Here we are going to write it as a public static void main spring array or dot 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 ox three dot and ox. We are going to say that here. And this is a closing of the my main method. Now this is a place where we are going to write your logic. What is the logic you want to write it here? You would be writing the logic you are going to write. This is what main main method you are going to write it as a your program. Let's take it as a simple example. I'm going to create a new class. This class name is I'm going to say it as a multiplication of table. Okay. When you are giving the class name also, ensure that you are giving the, the meaningful names. Okay, here we are going to create a new package. I'll be saying it as a day one. I'm going to say that here. Okay, my day one examples, I'm going to do it here. Just refactor. I'm going to refactor. Just it is going to move that here. Now, day one, multiplication of the table. Now, I need to add a main method. I'll be saying it as a main method. And I need to print the multiplication of the table into number equal to. I want to print the 19th table. I want to print it here. How do I print the 19th table? Okay, you can take the 19th table. I want to print it here. Okay, in order to print the 19th table, first you are going to run a one for loop, you are going to run it here with i equal to 1 to i less than or equal to k. Hey, you run the 10 times and i plus plus. This is a place where we are going to set it as a number plus. We are going to take it as a star. And we are going to do the plus i plus. We are going to do the this is one. What is this? Let me explain this here. I'm going to run this loop 10 times. Okay, it has to start from the one 10 times. And here we are printing the number. What is the number value? 19. Then we are printing the into symbol. I value, first time it is a one, equal to symbol plus number into I, which is going to print the output as a, this is what, 19th table, it's going to print it. 19 ones are 19 twos are. Suppose if I change the, this value to the, I want to get the 29th table. Yeah, just you can go and run this here. It is going to get the 29th table. It's going to be. Okay, this is the way you would be writing the simple example you are writing here. Suppose if I am taking the one more simple example you are going to take here. 
sum of two numbers. Okay, I want to find the sum of two numbers. That's it. We are writing a class and you are writing a main method and here we are going to take the int number one equal to let's put it as a 30. Int number two equal to I'm going to add the 20. I need to find the sum of these two numbers. So int sum equal to we are going to do the number one plus number two. I got the, the value at the number one value at the number two you add and you assign to the sum and finally we are going to print the SYS out the sum is the sum sum is we are going to say that as a what is the sum value we are going to print it here. Okay. We are going to print the what is the sum value? I am going to print it here. I'm going to print the what is the sum value? Yes, we are going to print this here. You will be printing the sum value. I'm going to get it from you. Like this, the moment you create a simple program. And you just check that here. Hey, how do I add the sum of two numbers? Just you are going to add it here and we will put it. So don't stop with the hello world example. You just try two more examples you find out. Okay, here we are going to write this program. What are the program I have written? And logic you are going to write it here. Then we are going to execute. Okay. So we will learn the the basic element. So first we are going to start our uh, discussion with the what is a KDK and we will discuss about the what is a JRE, what is this Java and then we will discuss about the, the basic elements, okay, basic elements, basic elements, programming basic elements, like now what is a variable and uh, what is the data types. So those concepts we would discuss in the I'm, I'm going to close the session 10 minutes early. The first three classes or two classes we will close the, the session will start at sharp six o'clock and we'll we'll continue our session till 7.20. But first two classes we will close a little early. Okay. Uh, maybe 7.10 I will be closing. So generally it will close at the 7.20. So before I go further or before we are meeting tomorrow, uh, does anyone has any questions? Please practice these things if you are doing the first time today itself and ensure that everything your development environment setup is done, creating the project and executing the simple example to try today itself. Yeah, don't postpone for the tomorrow. And like no, even if you are familiar with that here, once again, if you are uh, like no, if you are novice, please practice this example and don't stop with that. Like no, don't stop with that. You take the some more examples. Hey, how can I do this here? Like now, you my calculator. How to do that here? Simple interest. How I am going to calculate? So uh, swapping the two numbers. How do I do that? Those things also you just do that. Yeah. And we will be discussing. I'll be discussing the the fundamentals. Like now, what is this int? And why why should we use the public static void main? I'll be discussing the in detail in after. Thank you guys, and see you tomorrow at six. Okay, see you guys.